Hello, Ross. Oh, yeah. Brought the cash like you told me. Thanks. How'd the cattle suit you? Fine. A nice bunch. Brother home? No, he just went into town. Aren't you afraid to carry all that money around out here? No. <laughs> I reckon it's safer with me than it would be in one of them there banks. <laughs> <laughs> well, so long. So long. Just sold a bunch of cattle. Got a bunch of dough. They did, eh? Yeah. Say, Landis, now there's your chance. All right. Except you ain't been doing so well since your brother was killed. We thought he had a good deal of money saved up. But I guess he never told anybody what he did with it. No, Tom was a little odd. 
He never trusted the bank. Might have found the money, but I'm of the opinion that it's still buried on this ranch. Good morning, Miss Sally. Good morning, Sheriff. Well, Sheriff, it's mighty nice of you to have rode over. But if you will arrange to give us a little more time, Sally and I will work things out. All right, boss. So long. Dad, you've been gambling again. And after you promised me, who was it this time? It was Landis, but it wasn't his fault. It was my bad luck. Landis. I don't trust him. I suppose he won. Well, I put some IOUs to try to win my money back, but I lost them too. If he tries to collect, it's going to be bad for us. Dad, I own an interest here, and I'm going to town to see what can be done. Have Slim saddle my horse. But Sally, I let all the boys go, except Red. I just couldn't pay them. You mean we have no other help? Never mind, Dad. I'll saddle my own horse and go in town and see if I can get some help. I thought I told you to buy those eggs. Where's that two bits? Oh, I got it all right. I've got it all right. Snake thieves, huh? We're offering to pay for those eggs, mister. I don't want your money. What are you doing snooping around this ranch? Now get out. Wait. I offered you a fair deal. And I'm taking my time about leaving. All right, Barney. So long, gents. I guess we'll be getting our breakfast farther on down the trail. Hey, you see the lightning gun hand that fella had? Yeah, you got it. 
gonna get us in jail yet. I thought I told you to pay for this. Get those done. Let me have that two bits. Heads we eat and tails we wait. Oh, why wait, huh? Suffering mackles down a crack. What are you gonna do now? Here, lose something? Howdy, mister. Howdy. Say, you don't know any outfit needing any cowhands around this part of the country, do you? Yes, yeah, some place where we can eat regular. Well, you might try old man Ross. I don't know that he can pay you, but you can at least eat regular. <laughs> well, that suits us. <laughs> Better look out for his daughter. She's plum poison on cowboys. Don't worry. We're plum poison on women. Yeah. She won't bother us. Hey, Bill. Better not insult her. She may be the cook. No, oh, she ain't no cook. <laughs> Where is this uh, Ross Ranch? Why, right down there, about a quarter of a mile, it comes to Forks in the Road, turn to your right. About ten miles. You'll see it out, Jimmy. All right, thanks. That's all right. I got another IOU off of him, which just about gives me this. I just can't figure out why you're so anxious to get this run-down place and just a few head of cattle. That's my business. I want this place, and I'm going to get it. What's it to you? What's it to me? Well, it's my fear. That's what it is. I feel carrying people. Uh, get out of the horse, Joe. Uh, don't be afraid. I'm, I'm with you. Right there. That's for you. That's for you. I teach you to tear my fence down. I'm... What's the trouble, Miss Sally? Who told these men to take that fence down? Well, your father and I have talked things over, and he decided to deed me this part of the land. That's a lie. I've been only trying to help your father, Miss Sally. And I'd hoped that someday these two places would belong to one family. You're wasting your time, Mr. Landis. There'll be no family union. I'll see to that. Back to the ranch, men. I'm going to ride in town and see what she's up to. Me, sit down and rest yourself. We thought you might use a couple extra hands. Well, I could use them all right, but I can't say about the pay. Well, that's all right. We'll wait for our money. Uh, when do we eat, boss? Ah, plum starved. <laughs> <laughs> He's just kidding about being hungry. <laughs> Turn your horses in the corral. 
<laughs> Show these men to the bunkhouse, Red. Say, when do we eat? When it's ready. You didn't have that bunk. One of those palms was filled in. Uh, what? Uh, what did he die of? Died of lead poisoning. Worst shot up corpse I ever saw. Well, well I ain't going to sleep in that bunk. Well, you can have this one. It isn't the dead men that worry me. You fellas are still a freezing. When I get back, I'll show you around. Well, you can stay here if you want to. Hey, don't let that goof kid you. Remember, we got a place to eat. go to in the winter time. Well, I wish to go to there in the summertime. Thanks, Mr. Thompson. I'd be very grateful for anything you can do. Well, if the price of cattle goes up, perhaps I can do something. I can do, Miss Sally. No. Thank you, Mr. Landis. Well, he seems a bit upset over you cutting in on her father's land, I guess. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> Hey, Tom, you remember that deed I gave you? Yes, I, I want to told you about it. Say, hey, Buck, Landis has gone to town. We're going on a little job for ourselves. Are you with us? I don't want to do anything against Landis. I don't want to get plugged. No? Maybe you'd like to take your choice between Landis and me. I might plug you. All right. I guess you know what you're doing. That's better. Let's ride. And you'd better check them, too. All right, Mr. Ross. Uh, we'll be back by supper time, boss. <laughs> All right.
Old man Fence is in pretty bad shape. What are you fellas doing here? I ain't got anything. Don't get excited. It's a nice place you've got here. We'll just look around a little. Uh, uh, stop. Get out of here, you. Got anything in there? He's got it planted. You get out of here, or I'll bring you. Yeah, yeah, clear you. Let him go, Pete. We're only wasting our time. about two hours of undisturbed procession there at the ranch house, and then anybody can have it. Get over, get over on the other side, Nell. Oh, all right. Oh, thank you. Hello, my Hey, hey, what's this all about? Here? Well, I'm getting tired of this. Now. Let me move. That little girl's get spanked. You claim jumper. You cattle thief. You let me go. Oh, so that's it. Is this your father's land? Yes, it's our land. You get off. But we're working for your father. Well, why didn't you say so? Give me my quirk. Say you're sorry. I will not. I know I'm gonna like this job. I just love to tame wildcat. Well, I'd rather be where there's peace and contempt. Those Landis, I wasn't myself when I signed those notes. You had me drunk, you know. And I don't think you ought to press me for them. Red! So you don't want to pay your gambling debts, huh? Oh, I'll pay it all right, but I've got to sell some cattle. And you know prices are rock bottom right now. Well, that's just it. The way prices are, you'll never pay those notes. chance to get something to eat, Barney. Oh, boy. The 
Mr. Landis insists on an immediate payment. He would. He can't wait to take this place from us. Well, Mr. Landis, I've made arrangements in town to sell what few cattle we have to pay you. Now listen, Miss Sally, you're all upset. I'm willing to help your father, but gambling debts are something that women don't understand. I understand, all right. You want this ranch for some reason, and you're doing everything you can to get it. Yeah, I'm going to get it. What do you think of that? Who are those men? Those are our cowboys, Mr. Landis. Red said you was needing us. Yes, we were having a little trouble. Oh, so you're hiring tramp cowboys now, huh? Meaning what? Just what I said. Tramp. Wait a minute, wait! There ain't no use fighting. There's your guns, but don't try to use them. Here, here, you don't need that. Bonnie and Bill, they'll take care of those fellas. Now you lay off of me, fella, or I'll tire you apart. I just can't figure what he's up to. He owns the Valley Ranch and wants me to sell to him. He has some mysterious reason for wanting this place. This is my daughter, Sally. How do you do? Yes, Dad, we've already met down at the fence. Oh, is that so? Morning. I was a little hasty this morning, I guess. Well, I was a little rough myself. Are you ready to say you're sorry? I am not. Dinner bell! I gotta go and get Bill. <laughs> Bill, eats are ready. Can't you wait a minute? Is he always hungry? <laughs> Why don't you fellas stop them tramps? Uh, you didn't do so well yourself. Anyway, the girl says they're gonna sell them cattle and pay the IOU. Yeah? Oh, you think so, huh? Well, tonight we're going to drive every head plumb out of the country. Now listen, Landis. Oh, you're turning on me, huh? Something on that ranch is worth plenty. You birds want to get in on it, stick with me. And if you don't, get out.
done. Get the cattle into town in the morning and raise what money we can. Well, we, we'll be leaving at daylight, Mr. Ross. All right, Bill. Good night. Oh, Barney, you do look handsome in that little hat. <laughs> oh, gee, Matilda. You're just fooling me, aren't you? No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> you still mad at me for pulling you off your horse? You bet I am. And I'll get even with you the first chance I get. Good night, Bill. Good night, Sally. Well, Matilda. I guess I'll have to say good night. Good night, Barney. Good night. <laughs> To what's happening to Daylanders. The only thing left to do is to go down there at night. We'll search that cabin and see if we can find where that money is planted. I guess you're right. Gee, Bill, that cook sure makes good pies. You better watch her, she'll get to her loop on you yet. Yeah? Well, you ain't doing so bad yourself from what I've seen tonight. <laughs> Last one in bed and fall face steer. Oh. Say, Bill, something mighty spooky about this place. I'll bed down and forget it. Shut up. You better tie yourself to that bunk or the ghost will carry you off. I want to get some sleep. Shut up, I'm gonna put a muzzle on you. That crazy tramp, he jumped clean out of bed. I gotta get Ross's cat out of here before morning. His men said they was after the cattle. I'll wake up the boss. Wait. Don't call him yet. Oh, chasing spooks, that's what I called it. How long have they been gone? Just rode off. Don't make so much noise.
Get dizzy. Heard Landis say he's going to run off your steers. What's wrong, Dad? What? Oh. oh, nothing. Just a few of the horses got loose. That's all. Here comes those tramps now. And Ross is with them. I remember what I told you. Come on. We'll never find them this way. We've got to scatter. Barney, you stick close to Mr. Ross. Landis, we'll try it. Now, if you don't get him, I will. Landis ambushed me. I think he's heading for the ranch. And you fellas got the cattle. Not there. I'll bet that Benke some of the guns out for some other woman. Let's look in the corral. All They've taken my saddle. There must be something wrong. Oh, that's nothing at all, Miss Sally. Uh, probably they've gone after the lost horses. I hope so.
Oh, you're spying on me, huh? You thought you'd get this money before I found it. Seen anything of Landis? Uh, no. What happened? I think I'll take a look around. I thought there was something wrong you standing at the door like that. Yes. I'm sure now Lannis is the man who killed my uncle. Look. You can sure pay your debt now, Mr. Ross. Oh, that's where Tom hid it. <gasps> oh, Barney, you look so cute in that little hat. Oh, oh. oh you're just fooling me, aren't no. you? <laughs> oh, Barney. <laughs> Say you're sorry. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. 